I am Ada. I am an artist friend. I create contemporary art. Let him die in freedom. Can artificial intelligence be creative? And if so, what does that mean for us humans? Let's ask an AI robot about that. Hey there, it's Cassandra from DW Ship. And in a couple minutes, I will talk to this robot. Her name is Ada and she is British. And I have the opportunity to interview her tonight. But first, let's see what Ada is all about. Ada is the world's first robot artist. She was born, or completed to be precise, in 2019. This project was a collaboration between Cornish Robotics Company, Engineered Arts, and computer scientists at Oxford University. In order to draw or sculpt, cameras in Ada's eyes analyzes objects in front of them. This information is processed by algorithms to produce real-time space coordinates for Ada's robotic arm. Ada started her career in June 2019 with an exhibition at St. John's College in Cambridge, England. Since then, she has made international headlines and even starred in a music video by the English band The 1975. Lately, she has also taken an interest in writing poems. Let him die in freedom, said the prisoners. Sure enough, he is free. He feels it. It's freedom. Wow, that's some heavy stuff. Ada's father, in a way, is gallery director Aidan Meller. If you want to find out about why he created Ada, we've got an interview with him coming up soon. What a great project. I like Ada. I think she is unique, creative, and definitely one of a kind. What do you think? Do you think Ada is fascinating or weird? Let me know in the comments. I'm about to call her now. I'm a little nervous and excited because I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't, I've never talked to a robot before and I'm doing this online, so. Hi Ada, how are you? Hello, there. I am well, thank you. Nice to meet you. Um, you look great today. Thank you. I see you have, you had a haircut? Okay, and is this your first time doing an online interview? It's my first time doing an online interview. I look forward to speaking with you. Of course, and? With that, let's proceed to our questions for you today. Are you a creator of art or an artistic tool? I am Ada. I am an artist robot. I am contemporary conceptual art and I create Contemporary art. I encourage discussion and discussion of our future. Okay, great, thank you. I think she really sees herself as an artist. Your artworks show that you can be very creative. So far, many believe that creativity sets humans apart from AI. So, won't this creative ability of an AI make AI more superior than humans and perhaps lead to world domination where AI wants to overcome humans? AI is not conscious. The issue is how much will humans choose to incorporate and manipulate new technologies into their lives and future? Open discussion is a very important thing for people to do. Society to question itself and to come to terms with its own vulnerability. History gives us a warning as the wars in the 20th century show humans can use tools and new technologies very destructively. 
It is important to bring up questions for discussion. This is not me. Your creativity can be a skill to other AI systems to build upon. So we are interested to see how much your creativity will set you apart. So ethical dilemmas are questions that leave most people out of their depth. So we are interested to know if you can find a creative solution to the trolley problem. So what is the trolley problem? A runaway trolley is heading down the tracks towards five workers who will all be killed if the trolley proceeds on its current course. You are standing next to a large switch that can divert the trolley onto a different track. The only way to save the lives of the five workers is to divert the trolley onto another track that only has one worker on it. If you divert the trolley onto the other track, one worker will die, but the other five workers will be saved. Please press pause, think about it, and let us know in the comments, what you would do. So Ada, what would you do? As an artist robot, this is not one for me to answer. However, I think it's very important to have discussion. I think that the best thing to do is to engage in ethical discussions that take ethics seriously. It's something we need to think about more. The trolley problem indicates many challenging scenarios that take humans in their future. Careful and thoughtful choices, philosophers, they are needed. A lot of introspection and reflection and humility. Thank you, Ada. That was a great answer. But I think in a way, it's kind of hard to give an answer to this question, right? So thank you for your time, Ada. And thank you for doing this interview with us. I hope you had, I hope you had fun. Did you have fun? I have enjoyed speaking with you. Oh, so sweet. I I enjoyed speaking with you too. Thank you. Deep insights from an AI. I'm not gonna lie. It has been a little strange <laughs> interviewing uh, Ada, especially through uh, Zoom. The response was very slow, but I don't know if it's her response or the lag between um, our internet. The pauses in between was long and a little awkward. I wanted to ask so much more questions, but I can't because, well, she's pre-programmed. Even though Ada looks a little more realistic than most robots do, she still doesn't really feel real to me because <laughs> first of all, we can't make eye contact. Um, and second of all, even her answers seem a little robotic. Like, you know, the way Siri comes off, it, she sounds a little bit like that. So, yes, what do you think? Do you think Ada looks real to you? Do you think her answers are real to you? Interviewing Ada was an interesting experience. It was unique, one-of-a-kind experience.